Risotto is a beautiful and simple Italian technique that does not take a lot to make great. But today I'm gonna to be adding one secret ingredient that's gonna make any risotto you make so insanely creamy and luxurious, you're gonna think you're eating at a Michelin star restaurant. But first, since we're making a mushroom risotto today, we need to prepare the mushrooms. I wanna thank our sponsor today, Simply Safe, but more on them later. For now, let's just jump right into it. First, let's prep the shiitakes. Now to prep the shiitakes, you just wanna rip the stem off. Just give it a pinch and a twist and the stem should easily come off. And then we're gonna cut them two ways. The first way are these sort of like half inch, quarter inch thick slices. We know that when we cook them, they're going to shrink by half approximately. So keep that in mind. Then we wanna get those into a bowl and then we wanna cut some cremini mushrooms. We wanna take the stems off of those and we wanna reserve the stems, they're gonna infuse the stock. And then we wanna just cut our cremini mushrooms into quarters. And we're gonna roast these so that we get like a nice variety of texture to garnish on top. And if you can't find shiitakes, just use all creminis or whatever mushrooms you can find. This is sort of a celebration of mushrooms and my approach to risottos is whatever flavor I'm playing with to try and figure out as many ways to get that into the dish as I can. So we're gonna roast around eight to 10 ounces of these sliced bigger cut mushrooms. These are gonna act as garnish on top. And then we've got about three, four ounces of diced shiitakes. These are gonna cook in the risotto. We also reserved some of the shiitakes. Basically, we're gonna make the same sort of slices we did earlier, except we're gonna keep them bundled and then turn them to cut nice small dices that are gonna cook inside the risotto. Again, remembering they're gonna shrink by about half. This risotto will feed about two, three people. Now, depending on how much you serve, you make more or less. I've got the oven preheating 450 degrees. Toss in some oil, some fresh thyme. Keep the whole stalks in so you can fish the stalks out later. Mushrooms and thyme, match made in heaven. Salt. Give it all a nice toss, then into a sheet tray, a little bit more oil, and then into the oven to roast. And now I'm cooking it at a fairly high temperature, which I want. That's how you get nice caramelized mushrooms, but you do need to keep an eye on them. So we're gonna check on them throughout the process. So now I have some chicken stock here and some of the stems. I'm gonna infuse them into the chicken stock. Usually I have Brodo frozen, I just happen to have some chicken stock here. Brodo is probably ideal, but whatever you have, make sure it's got a lot of flavor, like a good homemade stock does. Get a little pot on medium high heat, a little olive oil in the pot, and then we're gonna add our mushroom stems directly to it and just kind of give them a little toast. Get them nice and roasty, get a little bit of fond build up on the pan, and once they're nice and aromatic, we can add in the stock. And then we wanna just bring that up to a simmer and then keep that simmering. We don't want it to evaporate too much. I also like to add about a cup or two of water just to stretch it out a little bit and then we can get into prepping the rest of the ingredients. Now, before we jump any further, we need to talk about security today, thanks to our sponsor today, Simply Safe. Simply Safe and their award-winning home security and monitoring system has everything you need to protect your home from break-ins, fire, water damage, and more. With tools like this video doorbell, carbon monoxide and smoke detectors, indoor cameras, keypad controls, outdoor cameras, motion and water sensors, and they even have a panic button. At the heart of it all is this base station that controls everything. Just get it plugged in and follow the instructions and once the base station is connected, you can go through and set up the rest of your devices. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the panic button, so I get that set up first. And then in my apartment, sometimes I have workers coming in to work on fixes in the apartment, and sometimes I wanna keep things monitored. So I wanted to make sure I had a security camera in my office that covered my basis, so I know anyone who's entering in the apartment or my office. So I got that security camera set up where I want it, and I can go through and set up the rest of my devices. And with professional monitoring services, Simply Safe will dispatch the police or fire Firefighters in case of an emergency. So if you want to get your home protected, I got Simply Safe to offer my viewers 20% off your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you'll get your first month for free. Click the link down below or visit simplysafe.com backslash not another cooking show to learn more. Now let's get back into the recipe. Now we just need to cut up some onion. Now generally garlic is not used often in risotto, but if you want to add it, I don't care. But I don't really usually add it myself. Now I'm gonna do a fine dice. Now you don't need a ton of onion, like a half of an onion or maybe a cup of diced onion should be fine. And we want them to be small, like the size of the rice kernels. We don't want them to stand out too much in the risotto. That's all. Now I get to try my new cheese grater for the first time. It's a just a big diamond grater cheese grater. That's how you get it nice and fine. And I can just kind of have it stable now. Just doing like a nice little circular motion.
I'm gonna give our mushrooms a quick check. They're almost there. We just wanna stir them up again, make sure that we're getting a nice brown even throughout all the mushrooms and then back into the oven. Now risotto rice is pretty widely available everywhere now. But what's great nowadays is we get these really specialized rices now that you can kind of order on Amazon or on the internet or in specialty shops that are like better suited for risotto. There's different style rices like carnaroli or this violone nano. These rices are rich in starch, which you need in a good risotto. But these two rices in particular absorb water like no other rice can. But the best part is that despite being able to absorb so much liquid, they're able to resist getting mushy and they maintain their texture, which is just the best of all worlds when you're making risotto. Just know that the rice may make a difference. And so that's it, at a basic level, if you wanna take away the mushrooms, a risotto is onions cooked in butter, toasted rice, deglazed with wine, a little bit of stock, finished with Parmesan cheese and butter. Of course, we're adding the mushrooms, and my secret ingredients, well, the main secret ingredient, which you will have, be able to find, is marscapone, which is basically like an Italian cream cheese, is going to add an insane creaminess to a risotto that's gonna take it from just a home cooked dish to something that tastes like a restaurant made it. And then of course, this is optional. If you can find it, always add it. But I've got some black truffle butter that I was able to find. That's gonna go great with, with any risotto, but specifically with mushroom risotto. So we're gonna use that. But I wanna keep these in the fridge until I need them. Let's measure out about a cup of the risotto rice. And by now our mushrooms should be absolutely perfect. Nicely golden brown with a variety of textures. Some super crispy, some have some nice sponginess to them. They have nice color on it. They're seasoned, it's beautiful. Let's pick out some of these herbs. And then we can just set these aside for later. Now our stock's nice and infused. I can strain out the mushroom stems and then we can get our nice saucier pot on the stove with some butter and some olive oil. And once that's hot, we can add our diced onion. And we just wanna sweat that out on medium high heat. We really don't want any color. We're gonna hit it with salt, cook it for about a minute, and then we're gonna add our mushrooms. Now we're not looking for caramelization, we're just looking for them to sweat their juices out and for the juices to concentrate in the pan. A little bit more salt and oil if you need. And once the mushrooms and onions are softened, but not a lot of color, then we're gonna add the rice and we're gonna just toast the rice in that oil just to wake it up. I like to have a flat bottom wooden spoon and a spatula on hand so I can clean up the sides. And then once you can just start to slightly smell the roastiness and aromatics of the rice, then we can take some nice Pinot Grigio and we can deglaze with about a cup of that. And we just wanna let that cook and reduce down until there's almost no wine left. And then we're gonna add one ladle of stock get that mixed in and just stir and cook that on about a medium heat. And once the rice starts to look a little dry and get absorbed, we're gonna add about a half a ladle at a time for about 20 minutes, stirring regularly until the rice is nice and al dente. And we wanna keep this on a nice medium heat, nice simmer, not too hot, not too low. And we can already see the rice getting creamy. The stirring I'm doing, the tossing, that's all beating starch off of the rice, incorporating it into the liquid, thickening it, creating almost almost like a sauce that's supposed to coat each kernel of rice. And the rice gets suspended in the sauce on the plate in this creamy mass that makes risotto what it is and distinctly different than rice. We're just slowly working in the stock over time. And once we get to about 15 to 20 minutes, we're just gonna start tasting it regularly. And once the rice stops sticking to your teeth and it's nice and al dente and it's creamy, unlike a regular bowl of steamed rice. As you see me tossing it in the pan, it should look like a wave of cascading starch being tossed around in the pan. If it's not creamy as hell and flows like this, then all you've got at the end of the day is just a bowl of rice, which is not what we want. I give it one last taste and it's perfect. We're just gonna kill the heat and then we're gonna work in our secret ingredient. We're gonna hit it with about two heaping tablespoons of the mascarpone and then we're gonna work that in and you'll see instantly the creaminess that it gives to the dish. And of course, traditionally all risotto requires is butter and cheese to make it creamy, but I I think mascarpone adds an additional special thing that I love. Then we're gonna hit it with a couple tablespoons of cold butter or this truffle butter like I have if you can find it. And we're gonna work that in too. Those things have lowered the temperature of the mix so we can safely add a heaping amount of Parmigiano-Reggiano grated and be able to melt that smoothly in without any stringiness. That Parmesan's also gonna tighten the mixture up so then I can take a little bit of stock and thin it out, readjust it before serving. Taste it, make sure the seasoning is right, and you should have an insanely creamy risotto and then in a plate, a few heaping tablespoons into the center of the plate, and you're gonna see it sort of droop 
and that's gonna tell you you have the right consistency. Then you just wanna tilt the plate around and use gravity to spread the mixture out in a thin layer. And then we wanna top it with the crispy mushrooms and then finally hit it with some Parmigiano Reggiano. The insane creaminess mixed with the truffle and the texture of the mushrooms with the soft texture of the cooked mushrooms inside, it's honestly too good. If you have not tried Mars Capone and Risotto, you must try it now. The recipe for this is gonna be down in the description, along with any other relevant links for this video. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. If you like this recipe, you might like this switch up, a nice sizzling chicken fajita platter. I mean, just listen to this. Beautiful. Recipes up on the screen, thanks for watching.